More tweets from Rockstar. This time, two new images and info regarding Deadeye. Now, some of this you may already know. Some of this may be new to you, but we're going to go over it anyways. First off, the uh, tweet that they posted this morning. I was at lunch. Well, I was heading to lunch, and after lunch, I streamed Mafia 3. Been kind of busy all day, so I do apologize for not posting this sooner. The new Deadeye system expands and becomes more sophisticated over the course of the game, allowing you to place shots on multiple targets and ultimately pinpointing the weak spots on your enemies such as heart, brain, and lungs for even deadlier accuracy. So we'll check out the first image. By the way, uh, Rockstar's Twitter officially linked below in the description section. So what we see here is a deputy that was probably a few days close to retirement, right? Typical cop movie story. Uh, three days close to retirement. Ah, let me die. Obviously, he's not going to win this little round against Arthur. And what you see highlighted is vital organs. Like, for example, his head, his heart. You hit those, you're going to take out this deputy before he can even look at you funny. Well, I guess it's too late for that. He looks kind of funny. With his sexy mustache and his white hat. <laughs> but what's really interesting is we got more uh, detail regarding the HUD system along with the uh, cores over above the mini-map. So you have one with a, a heart, actually two hearts, one on the left, one on the right. And then beside it you have a lightning bolt. Then in the middle it looks like an eye with an X in it. And then you have another stamina icon and another heart icon on the right side. But the difference between those is they have a U in them. No, they're not a U. It's actually a horseshoe for your horse. So this is how you're going to know how well your horse is doing stamina-wise, which is the lightning bolt for you, and the stamina with the horseshoe icon in it for your horse. That's stamina. And then the heart's obviously your health. So on the left side, it's Arthur Morgan's health. On the right side, it's your horse's health. And in the middle, the X, dead, dead eye. Get it? <laughs> I'm sure most of you connected the dots already. So that's going to be uh, your meter for your dead eye. And there's going to be different wanted levels. This one is dead or alive. So you kind of have no choice but to take out the deputy in this situation. You're not going to be able to talk your way out of it. And if you look back at the mini map, you see, a, we'll see an X, a couple of X's beside Arthur indicating dead bodies. And then the red dots indicate enemy NPCs. Now, chances are, those are two other deputies heading your way. And one of those dots has an arrow on it indicating, just like in previous other games, that chances are this enemy is probably on a second level of a building to your right. So you have this deputy right in front of you, another one probably heading towards you, and then another one on a building on a second floor perhaps, and then there's some white dots behind you. It's possible the white dots are gang members that are with you, helping you, and inside the building, it looks like there's a lock icon, so that could be a safe you can get. The other icon, the big one, looks like maybe like doors to a saloon, so maybe that's a bar. I honestly don't know. Just some speculation on my part. And over here underneath the wanted uh, icon, Dead or Alive. There's different levels of being wanted, so Dead or Alive is at the very top, most likely. And uh, underneath it, you see the ammo count, how many rounds he has in the chamber of his revolver, and how many rounds of that revolver he happens to have on his person. 28 total, so 6 in the gun, and 22 on him so he can reload. So that's the amount of ammo that Arthur Morgan currently has in this revolver. The second screenshot, paint your enemies with dead eye targets and unleash a rapid fire hell of bullets. So we do know that there's gonna be various levels of the dead eye system. There's gonna be one where you manually paint the targets. There's gonna be another one when you're gonna be able to automatically lock on to people. Then the one where you basically go into like an x-ray vision, you can see the head, the heart, just like we saw a moment ago. And what's different about this image is the wanted level is lower. It says assault. So. You didn't kill somebody, but you were caught attacking somebody, another NPC. And in this situation, there is a possibility where Arthur could have, you know, probably, you know, lessened the situation, maybe resolved it a little bit. But the fact that Arthur has got what appears to be five X marks on this deputy or NPC, 
Uh, yeah, I think the situation is about to go from bad to worse. It's going to go up from assault to probably dead or alive. Now, once again, with the mini map, we see the three different cores. Now, the difference there is look at how the, the heart, the lightning bolt, and the dead eye icons are now at half. Like, when they're at full, you know, you see them at like, uh, they're completely white. Now, they look like they're like half gray at the top, the lower half is white, so I guess that's the core. So you have like the outer band and then you have the inner band to, I guess, notify you how good or how bad your health is. So the idea is to have everything maxed out, like white hearts, white lightning bolts, white dead eyes, and then the ring around the icons is, I guess, just additional health and stamina and dead eye that you can get throughout the game through various upgrades. I'm guessing, once again, speculating on my part. Also going by some other information that we've gathered over the past several weeks and months. In the minimap, once again, we have three enemy NPCs coming towards us. We see one right now. We see a regular NPC running towards the uh, general store. And once again, you see little lock icons within several buildings, including the general store in front of us. Once again, I'm guessing that's a cash register or perhaps a safe that Arthur can break into. And I guess the little uh, like gray logo with the different items in it, I guess that's an indicator that this is a general store. I'm just connecting that dot there, a little deductive reasoning. And over at the right, it looks like there's like a, a skull and this could be where you can either like get bounties or maybe even pay off bounties. And then behind him, it looks like another icon and maybe that's where the camp is because you have like a black circle and what appears to be kind of like a tent icon in it. So maybe that's the direction where Arthur's camp is, where the Vanderlyn camp is at. So to the south of this town, I think this is Valentine by the way, that's where you can find the Vanderlyn camp. And over there to the left, it looks like more white icons. So your gang members could be to your left this time. And notice how you have the NPC running, but the NPC is not appearing on the mini map. But over there on the right, there appears to be some white icons. So anyways, and one thing if you notice about the building over there that's under construction, one other thing we've learned is the fact that the world is building. It's evolving. So at the beginning of the game, you're going to see people working on this particular building right beside Worf's General Store. But in time, that building's going to be finished and it might be something. Then again, it may just end up being a building and maybe nothing special about the building. But we'll all find out when Red Dead Redemption 2 comes out in just about two weeks from now. That's right. Two weeks from now is when we're finally going to get our hands on Red Dead Redemption 2 for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Very excited about that. Unfortunately, there's a lot of spoilers starting to come out through uh, IGN and other news sites. I'm not going to cover any of that. I'm going to shy away from it. Only confirmed information at Rockstar Post because I don't want to unintentionally spoil anything for you guys. And that's why I'm not doing a video on the trophies that got leaked. Now, I know that other content creators have made videos about those trophies. I'm not going to do it, even though I've been told by some of you that they're not really spoilery. But just to be safe, better safe than sorry, I'm just going to avoid covering are looking at the trophies because I don't want to get spoiled any more than I already am and I don't want to unintentionally get you spoiled about anything else regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 than what we already know. Sorry to go on a little diatribe there but going forward to the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2 I'm just going to cover what Rockstar posts on Twitter through Newswire perhaps even in some gameplay video maybe for Red Dead Online but when it comes to leaks that are spoilery, I'm going to try and stay away from them going forward. By the way, starting Saturday, we're going to be streaming Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox One X. I hope you guys join me Saturday for the Red Dead Redemption stream. We're going to stream that start to finish over the next week or so, leading up to the release of Red Dead Redemption 2, October 26. How excited are you? For the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 coming up in just about two weeks from now, let us know below in the comments section.